and welcome. In this video we will be using PhotoBucket which is a convenient tool to use to store the images that we will be putting in our Craigslist ads. So the first thing we need to do if you haven't done so already is set up an account. It, this service is free. You just need to uh, register and log in right here. And once you do that then um, you have your dashboard in which it will show what uh, pictures you've uploaded already and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an ad with uh, three new images so to add new images to your photo bucket account all you need to do is click on upload and then click on select and we can go ahead and upload more images and what's handy is if you have more than one you can hold the control button down and select multiple files and it just takes a minute or so to upload it's fairly it's fairly quick and it looks like one of their ads and I accidentally uploaded one twice So I can go ahead and uh, delete one. I'll just do that later. And now we just need to embed this in our Craigslist ad. And what I'm going to be using in this video is the two column template. And we're going to be putting a header image that will take up the entire span of, of this top area. And we'll be putting a picture inside the main body and also one in the right sidebar. So the first thing that we need to do is get the link from PhotoBucket in order to insert an image. So what I can do is I can click on this and okay so if I click on direct link then my image will be copied to the clipboard and then if I go back in here and I want that to go in this area so I'm going to delete this text and then I will be inserting an image and this is the button that I will click on and then under image URL what I just copied I want to right click and then paste and that is the full um, address uh, of my image so once I do that I'll click on insert okay and then now our image is uh, stored inside of our um, template and one, th one handy feature with this is you can also click and drag this to the right since adding this header image basically expanded the box that we are using. And another thing that we can do with this is we can make this header image clickable by um, go ahead and click on it and you notice that you have the um, boxes around each border showing that you have highlighted it with the mouse and then we will click on the link chain here so we will go ahead and link this and you can link this to your regular website or to your blog or wherever you want it to go so I'll type in my website here and we also have the choice whether you want to open it in the same window otherwise you could open it into a uh, most modern web browsers will actually open this into a new tab but not a new window so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select that and then click on insert and if you don't type in the HTTP prefix um, it will automatically do that for you which is which is good to have okay the next thing that I will do is I will add a picture in the right sidebar here so I will go back to my photo gallery inside a photo bucket and I will go back to direct link and I will just click on that and it'll automatically copy it um, to your clipboard and I will go back in here and then click on the photo icon and then paste and click on insert now there's been a, a few people that have emailed me said they tried to 
um, do what's called uh, word wrapping, in which a photo would be right in this area and, and the text would wrap around it. The problem with that is when you upload it to uh, Craigslist, they will they will strip the style tag out. So uh, be careful not to uh, wrap the, your words around any other text. That is why we have more than one column. Unfortunately, Craigslist will not allow that. So what we're going to have to do is um, add an image and then have nothing wrapped around it. Okay, so need to go back to photo bucket and actually I didn't want to click on that. Let me go back here. All I need to do is mouse over and then this will populate. So I need to just click inside this box and it says copy. And I will come back in here and notice my mouse is already where I want the image to go. and control V or right click and paste and I will go ahead and insert that and once again I want to link this to a web page so I will go highlight this with my mouth, my mouse and then the border should show up and click on the link chain and you can type in the HTTP colon and then a couple forward slashes. No big deal if you don't, it will do it for you. So that would be blueprints. Okay, and I want that to open in, in a new tab. And then insert. Okay, and then the link is is there. And let's say I want to preview what this is going to look like. I can always click on this icon right here which is preview and I go ahead and widen this out and this is what the ad will look like and once I'm finished making changes all I need to do is click the get code button and as you can see the all the image sources are coming from uh, where those are stored on photo bucket so all we need to do is just uh, click anywhere inside this box. It will highlight everything for you and then right click and then copy and then you can go ahead and what I usually do with these is I keep them. I, I usually go uh, put them in. You can put them inside just a plain text file and copy and paste that and then go ahead and control S to save this and then that way you'll always have your ads uh, stored on your computer and remember if you want to make changes to this later you can always highlight everything and then um, control A is a quick option to highlight select copy and we can go into edit modify and then right click and paste or just type in the shortcut control V and then we're inserting all of our all the code that the ad generated um, and then it will take us to a back to the editor so we can make the changes that we want okay and then there is the ad once again and if I want to make some changes say I wanted to just take this out all I have to do is make that change and then click on get code again and then my new ad is inside here so I hope that clarifies any confusion that people had with using file share um, image sharing sites such as photo bucket to use inside of your Craigslist ads thank you for watching